Hey there everybody. Welcome to my living room. I got a new uh, tripod and microphone and I'm testing it out as we speak so you gotta let me know if you hear me. <laughs> Can anyone hear me? How's the sound? I have a new phone or a new tripod and microphone. I'm testing out. Hey, hey, hey. Are you ever going to sell? Hell yeah. I'm actually in the process of it right now. No. Maybe one day. All customer factor scripts. That's a good idea. I should work on that. I just don't know how we would we would do it other than myself entering all the info into your own customer factor it's not been years i don't even think i've had the channel for in march in march it'll be a year that i've had this youtube channel do a video how to use the customer factor i could do that all right um so you guys can hear me correct, hear me all right? I actually went live because I wanted to test out this new tripod and microphone. Does it sound like crisp and better than what it sounded like before? Beautiful. Because there has been a couple people really irritated with my lack of microphones. And I finally did it. I even got this wind sleeve. It sounds really good. Beautiful. Great. Excellent. Hey, while we're on here, who who here is uh just kind of struck like stuck in the business like uh whether it's just eh and you just have lost Either you've lost motivation to work or the calls just aren't coming in and uh, the weather's just not applicable. Good. I'm glad this sounds good because it's a badass little mini tripod. I can put this thing anywhere, so it's really no inconvenience to bust this thing out. I got some cool camera stuff. I just, I got to start using it. I got a, a stabilizer. My older videos, I was getting into it. You can use it as a stabilizer and do time lapses. That was pretty cool. I got this GoPro gear. I'm just starting out. I'm just trying to get some traction. I want to talk. I just want to have a convers. I just want to talk. Like pretend this is like a. Uh, we're like at a round table and we're just spitballing ideas. That's kind of what I want this live to be. I actually don't have the kids. They're with my mother and my brother. They decided to watch them for the week, for not the weekend, but overnight today. So I got to pick them up in the morning, but I will take it because it's nice getting a night to yourself here and there. All right, let me put this tripod back down so I don't get nobody motion sickness. You know what? Let's have a beer. Huh? I'm not going to pick that up again. I've been uh, talking with Devin, the best designer in the world, the one who you know manages Team Wash Life's website and everything. 
and we've been uh, coming up with some new some new flyer designs there's one here that's really cool that can be used in the dead of winter so I'm excited for that to be uh, released There's, there's a setting on my YouTube I have to figure out a change because I have a really hard time seeing the comments. And I know it's just me because you'll watch certain people's lives and they're just reading the comments. But with mine, they pop up for one second and vanish. So if anyone knows how to change that, let me know. Okay. I'm so excited that this mic is nice. I was skeptical. It was like 50 bucks, but should I buy a soft wash system or just use a gas powered pressure washer? For me, I like the pressure washer, but that's not the right, you know, it's a personal preference thing. So it's hard to say there's the guys who soft wash, um, are married to it. We use one and it's the best. Yeah, I would love to get $3,000. Got me fucked up. I am not spending that on a drone. I'd crash it. Check out this, though. This is the GoPro. I I always call it a GoPro, cause, but it's called Akaso. A-K-A-S-O. This thing's on Amazon. They're on Amazon, and it's literally a fraction of the price of GoPros. I got... Like every possible attachment for like 20 bucks. And Amazon or GoPro, like GoPro will sell something stupid like this for 20 bucks. Or like this is pretty sure it's like 25 bucks. This you can like drop in water and it'll float. They'll sell the whole bundle for like this is a uh, armband or armband, a stick, all sorts of, I mean, ab everything. I have a whole bucket of it. A little remote. Look it up. I mean, it's got more, I think they got more reviews than freaking GoPro. It's not some like gimmick. It's uh, this is the chest mount. It's cool stuff. I recorded Ava's last birthday with this. I had her like put it on and run around. It's pretty cool. Seeing it from her perspective. Um, Three quarters of the way to launch my soft wash business. My funds have dried up. I'm still right now for the time being. So what do you mean by three quarters of the way? The way I started mine was a thousand dollar power washer. That's pretty much what, because I started with the window cleaning and then randomly got a power washer. I don't really remember the timeline of when I got it, but I definitely got one. I'm glad I did. <clears throat> All right, so it's hard to like conversate when people are typing. I wonder if we could, it'd be cool to go live with people, like have a uh, multiple li live streams. Um, but let me tell you some ideas that I'm going through. I listen to podcasts. I kind of stopped. I don't know if I stopped, but I didn't, I didn't, I don't listen as much and I've been getting back into it. Uh, one guy... I like to listen to would be Tommy Mello. Uh, he has like a $30 million garage door company business, but service business is service business. You know, like it's uh, what's up. Uh, I never know how to pronounce your name, Mike Kenny, but I always see you on here. You're always commenting. So shout out to you, man. Um, I have the memory of a goldfish. What was I just talking about? Oh, the garage door guy. But anyway, they were just talking, and it, and it gets me thinking. I don't even know if they were talking about this, but it gets me thinking of stuff. Um, basically, like, <clears throat> if you're gonna if you're gonna go, even I'm I'm guilty of this. Like, I I last year was doing residential, but then I like wanted to do commercial too because it's a bigger ticket. And um, could could potentially be more consistent if you get the right clients, could open more doors. There's a lot of pros to commercial, but like some of the cons of commercial is depending on the contract, 
I always say contract, but I, I don't think I've ever made an actual contract. But depending on the uh, agreement you come to, um, some places can be up, you know, ninety dollar, ninety dollar payouts. And like being a small business, like probably most of the guys watching this YouTube channel are, and myself, is it's actually pretty tough. You, I mean, you can't really float that kind of money. So um, I really, I, I'm, I'm kind of shifting, and I want to, I want to end up with doing commercial. You know, I, I have this vision, but doing everything all at once is is hard because. For residential, when I started, I had a $300,000 insurance policy, dirt cheap. But at least I was able to tell my clients, hey, we have insurance. You know, we are insured. Um, when I did my first commercial job, they requested either a million or $2 million insurance. So what did I do? I was like, well, I, re I really, you know, you know, got to pay to play. I ran to my insurance guy. I was like... Let's get the $2 million policy. I want to go after these commercial contracts. Um, he advised against it, and I thought he was crazy. I was like, I was like no. Um, but I did it, and we have a $2 million policy, and it's good to have. But um, there's, there's a lot of opportunity if you just geared your business towards smash you know smack you know flyers and marketing and just going towards residential i really think it's gonna it's best to kind of pick one or the other now that being said if you pick residential it doesn't mean you can never do a commercial job they're gonna come up people are gonna you know they're gonna google you and find you and call you and uh if if uh you tell them you know if you meet the requirements to do the work then cool why not but it's like you kind of want to go after one or the other. So I'm gearing back a little bit 2020. Last year, 2019, I was going to take over the world. I mean, I literally was like, I just want to do everything and I'm not going to stop. And I, uh, it got messy real quick because it's not realistic to like handle all that. Um, so times were better, less stressful, and we actually were able to cater to our clients way better when I was going super, super hard with residential. And I mean, we we were always handing out flyers, door hangers. I mean, we just, it was like just part of the week. We just, or part of the day even, we just did that. Um, and I mean, our reputation was on fire. Like we were the best, the best. You would, you, you mean you'd be crazy not to hire us. But then once I started getting way, way too involved with the commercial stuff, then I'm like super stressed out, making sure every little thing is perfect and fine tuned for this commercial stuff. And then I'm sacrificing on my residential end. I'm not following up like I should. We're not doing the flyers like we should. We're I'm like putting all my energy towards the commercial. And then I got, you know, three out of the 10 residential jobs we did that week. Three of them are like not happy. And you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just, it's not, it wasn't, uh, we weren't managing it the right way. So it can all be done. It's just slow and steady wins the race type thing. So holy shit, let me. Take a sip of this. My mouth's dry. <clears throat> so anyway, see Ben Baker says commercials where it's at. My friend, we carry two million dollar insurance that usually covers any commercial job. We did ninety six point seven thousand commercial this year. Yeah, that's what's up. But I bet you could agree that you're set up different for commercial, like even your procedures to when you pull up to a commercial job are way different than when they're residential. So you're probably, I'd assume you're, you're heavier on the commercial end. That's what you guys push. And then coincidentally, residential calls are going to come in because you know, you're online or whatever. So they're going to Google search for your services and see, ya. 
um, I mean, it, it, it can be done. I'm just saying, like, like hyper targeting and and going hard is is the route I'm gonna go. So you do windows before how much you charge for windows? No money except for bills. I'm in the same boat, Mr. Pair Roofer. No money uh, coming in. Never use common concrete. Some say surface cleaners damage guy. Um, real quick on the concrete. For what I what we do is uh, we use chem. Guys who don't use chem, I mean they just they're trying to be quick. You still can clean it without chem, but there's gonna be algae and stuff. We find pre-treating it with a hot mix of chem, like 50-50, you know, dwell, and then surface cleaning it, it comes up really, really well. And then I even post-treat certain spots, like with a pump-up sprayer, or if it needs it, maybe we'll reapply it 50-50. Uh, One thing we don't ever use is surfactant on the concrete. Um, unless it's like an oil spill, we'll use like a degreaser or something, but we never actually use surfactant because I, I, I feel like surfactant is used to help things. It's basically only, its only job is to help the chem stick to vertical surfaces because gravity is a thing. So if the surface is flat and you got all that surfactant, it just makes rinsing a living hell because you got all this soap. And even when you're surface cleaning, it's just soap everywhere. It's not necessary. So that's how we clean concrete. And it's uh, it's only, you know, it depends on what tip, what orifice tips you're looking at. You, you can always call, like for questions like that, you can call like a vendor. You know, one that we use a lot is, uh, uh, um, shit, Russ Johnson, Southside, Southside, South I can't remember the name of that company. Southside something. Um, but if I have questions like that, I just call him. I'm like, hey, what do you think? And he'll say, here, let me just put this, this, and this in your cart. I'm going to mail it out later today. Um, but another thing with the concrete, it depends how old the concrete is or new. Considering a second job because my full time is commission based. Um, Over a hundred for just one of my home builders last year. Do I do new construction? Like window cleaning? Sometimes. Deliver pizza or Uber Lyft on your downtime. I just get pissed off doing something like that. Delivering pizza or Ubering. I just don't, I don't think I could do that. That was a response to you. Oh, they're talking about front edge vehicles. Yeah. Um, so uh, here's some ideas. Here's some ideas that that I'm I'm gonna be doing. Um, flyers. I like. I'm debating. I'm looking at this thing we design. I can't show you it yet, though. I can't. Devin would be pissed at me. Um, I'll tell you the logistics of it, though. I uh, So the main three services we do would be wash the house, clean the windows, and flush out the gutters. I don't, I personally don't like going in people's homes just because it's always different variables. Some people are super messy. Some are super nice. Some people have very expensive stuff. Some people don't. It's just one of those things that bugs me. Poncho, relax. Um, anyway, so I, I'm, desi I'm designing a flyer where we can go out, even though it's winter, basically go door to door, even door knock. Like I'm, I'm to the point where I'm going to knock on a door 
if no one answers, I, I can still just leave the flyer. Um, let them know, you know, we got a special offer just for your neighborhood. Wash the house, clean the windows, and flush out the gutters. Discounts for multiple sign-ups. And then we got, you know, five or more, 10 or more, 15 or more, 20 or more. 20 or five more neighbors signing up. Before spring hits, you get either a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50% discount. So it's going to be a pretty cool flyer. Um, and also it'll mention, you know, hey, we have, your, we have your quote ready for you now. Call us at blah, 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 or email us at blah, 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 blah. So it's going to be on a big flyer. And it's just going to be hit hard all winter long. And the, the purpose of it is to try to get people to give us a call. We're going to have the quotes basically pre-made, uh, ready for the neighborhood. And if they sign up, we can just keep track of it. However many neighbors sign up, they get a discount. I mean, we go inside. We just don't like it. I always end up being the one that goes inside. So, but yeah, I'd be lying if I said uh, money wasn't tight right now. Definitely is. It sucks. We got a, uh, what did you guys think of my video yesterday? I actually was saying a lot of cool stuff, but I just know how people are. I mean, I look at the analytics on my videos. Nobody sticks around to watch. There's a handful of people. That's why there's, you know, 20 something people out here out of how many subscribers do I have on YouTube? You know? But most people just don't stick around and watch stuff. They just have too much going on, and they don't they don't have the attention span. Even like when we do um, applications, there'll be like little things within the reading, and I don't even word them long. It'll be simple instructions. It might say something like, um, you know, submit the application and uh, call me at. 7 30 a.m. tomorrow i don't get a call and it's like okay um shit. what was another example oh the team wash life page you have to answer three questions to get into it and basically i started that to just i don't even really care too much about the answers but i started because there's a lot of little scammers always trying to get in or people you know people from indonesia or whatever uh and they, they never want to answer the questions, probably because they don't know how to speak English or they just, they're bot, they're robots or something. But um, a lot of people don't even do that. So what was I getting at? Oh, so the video is designed to be a bunch of different clips really quick. Just everything was a blurt of either humor or information. And I'm, it was kind of an experiment to see how many people actually watch it all the way through there's a lot going on but one of the things I was going to say in the video was that got cut out I said it but then I cut it out was uh we have a gig coming up once once it's warm enough there's like snow right now and ice um once we get about 50 degrees hopefully we'll get like a break in that we have another hydraulic oil spill in the in the street all throughout a new neighborhood um so that's pretty cool it's it's cool because you know we've already been through it with the with the company that's hiring us to do it that you know we can't guarantee results it's asphalt it's a street it's just it's hydraulic oil it's been sitting on there and it's we got to we got to be careful how much pressure we use so we don't damage the asphalt. And we also got to be careful what degreasers we use because we can make the street, you know, deteriorate. It can break down the oils in the street. Poncho, shut up. You've been in there for like, how long? 24 minutes. You're never in your crate. Just relax. Um, but it's kind of one of those things... They need to do it because they got to keep the township happy and just let them know, hey, we did everything we could to clean this up. What's left now is 
time. We just wait for it to seep away. Uh, but environmentally, we've gotten everything up that we can. So it's kind of a cool job because we'll, we'll do what we can, but we don't have the standard, you know, like that we have to get it out. All right, let me just read a few comments, and then, as you can hear, my dog's freaking out, so I'm probably going to take him for a little walk. Um, I, but I really wish I really wish we could video chat. I could video chat with some of you guys, just because I'd like to. He I'm going to look into it. My buddy Joel, I don't know if he's on here now, but he uh, was running past me. He was actually attempting to do it, but had some issues with uh, the way YouTube set up now. But we, it'd be cool to do like some type of round table for the people who are willing to just on video chat like this, just kind of discuss certain topics, right? Like uh, what's a good thing to do? You know, how are you generating revenue this time of year? Or what's one of the most profitable decisions you've made in your business? What's your, you know, if we had topics on this discussion, it'd be cool to hear multiple people talk about it and get different points of view. Um, thinking it's seasonal soon. Flyers. I'm, I believe in flyers until you hit a certain revenue. Then you start doing other, other stuff. Thanks, Angel. I just like getting on here and talking to everybody, seeing how everybody's doing. So, hope you guys have a good, uh, what day is today? Saturday? Hope you have a good Saturday. Oh, check it out. Do I have any... Aquatic lovers, oh, let's do a little to wear. Do I have any aquatic? Just did a water change. That's a 75 gallon. Bitter patter, let's get at her. There's Poncho being miserable as shit. I got. I moved my computer upstairs. It's been amazing. Amazing for my mental health. I had my computer downstairs. It was just turned into a storage room, and it was just depressing. No windows, no light, no natural light. Nothing down there made me happy. So... Um, I like to go neighborhood by neighborhood. We got some really cool flyer ideas, James. If you go to teamwashlife.com, you can look at them and maybe something will catch your eye. You'd be like, hey, that's kind of a cool idea. Let me try that. It doesn't hurt. Just grab some and pitter-patter, get at her. That's the thing, you know. It's like if you got the extra time, why not go out there and just hand out flyers, you know? I like, I think Facebook marketing and Google ads and stuff, all that stuff does work, but it's a huge, it, especially Google ads definitely depends on your location. Like guys who are near busy cities, they have significantly different results than like someone like I would have on Google ads. You have to spend like a thousand dollars a month to really get that thing rolling. And maybe, I don't know if it was my fault, like I didn't have a good closing system or but it just, I could not justify the expense for the amount of work we're getting. I mean, I'm, I use a CRM, so I'm looking at how many leads we're getting through the Google ads. I mean, we were getting leads, but I wasn't, I wasn't making the money. I wanted to like see a 10 or 20 X return on my investment. And I wasn't, I wasn't getting that. So I was still getting a, Good return though. Bobby, how was ice fishing? I'm about, I'm about ready to get off of here. You're a little late to the sh to the rodeo. 
You're a little late to the circus. You're a little late to the carnival. Warranty claims. Where did that come from? Ooh, salt water. You've got cojones. Zoom. Yeah, see, uh, YouTube did something where you can't use, like, Google Air anymore. So I think Zoom is the new way to go. I don't knock, but I'm actually I'm going to be knocking because it's winter and I really don't have anything going on. And I've came so close to, like, getting back into the window cleaning storefront thing. I just can't bring myself to do it because I know... I know it's possible, but I know starting it off, I have to be the one to clean those windows. And I just I just don't like it, man. It's as simple as that. I just I just don't like it. I don't like all the effort that goes into it. I guess I'd be more I'd be more susceptible to doing it again if I didn't drop all of the routes I earned. I had a nice size route and I dropped all of it and then it's like starting from scratch I guess type thing so I just I know what it took to get there and I just don't want to do it all over again um, yeah James I I was paying a guy to do the Google Ads and he did a great job it just it was odd in my area oh here's Bobby Bobby's a big fan of it we spent anywhere of a thousand to Jesus Christ on AdWords spent, but we are in a big market, small markets. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Yeah, it looks like you guys are having fun. You guys run a freaking house in the. I mean, I never seen that before. <laughs> no, you're not dead to me. There was a launch debate last night on. About linear. Oh, I hate those debates. I literally hate. I can't stand it. I think I saw a piece of that. I hate when people are arguing over dumb stuff. It's like politics. You ever seen people argue about politics? It's like you've been spewing the same garbage for the past ten years of your life. Like you're not gonna change anyone's mind. You're not gonna hop on Facebook and say something and be like, "Oh, changed his mind." But no, I don't really have a comment on the quotes because that's something I have to go back into mine and retweak. Um, what we were doing last year worked out, but I wanna I wanna make it nice and crispy and set up a little more, where basically set it up for like response a bit. Uh, Set it up for response. Set it up really in tune. Bobby has his all tuned in with responsive bid, responsive, yeah, responsive bid, and uh, so basically a customer can get their own estimate, but then at the same time his employees can use the same program and estimate, do an estimate for anything. And although mine was set up like that, there was still a lot of variables, and I'm sure with responsive bid there probably still is, but not as many. But the way mine was set up, there was still too many variables to confidently send an employee out to do an estimate. Oh, don't get Bobby started. <laughs> I'm responsive, man. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see that. It's going to be great. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad. I'm glad. In a way, you kind of twisted my arm to go. But, uh. It's not that I didn't want to go. It's just a weird time of the year, but it's it's one of those things. It's like I gotta be there. I gotta hear that stuff. <laughs> gotta get smarter, better, more prepared for 2020. Nothing changes if nothing changes. All right. Well, you guys are stalling me. I uh, I've only had this is my first beer tonight and I have no kids at the house so I need to drink about four more of those I'm gonna get off of here thanks for letting me know my mic is working out well I'm uh, pretty excited about about that
I can't read any more comments. I'm trying to get off of here. My phone's touch screen is funny. See you guys later. Team Watch Life.